Hi, my name is Molly Ingersoll. I'm a researcher at the Institut Pasteur. I lead a group called Mucosal Inflammation and Immunity. Our team's interested in understanding immune responses, particularly in the bladder. One good example is tuberculosis, where men get infected more often than women, but we also see examples with viruses, with parasites, and with bacteria. Probably the best example, and the one that we're most interested in, is urinary tract infection, where women are 20 to 40 times more likely to experience a urinary tract infection during their adulthood compared to men. And even though women are infected more often than men, men frequently have a worse outcome following infection, where they can develop chronic disease or have uh, various associated complications. So we began by asking the question, why do women get more infections than men? Because although incidence is different among adult men and women, it's not different among infants, uh, and the incidence of infection is in fact the same between infant boys and girls. Therefore, we hypothesized that it was an immune-based reason why we have differences in outcome. To test this hypothesis, we use models in which we could compare the innate response between male and female animals. And surprisingly, we found that a key cytokine, which is a soluble signal produced by immune cells, was expressed much higher in female animals compared to male animals. We believe that we've identified a key pathway that's important to determine whether an individual can resolve a urinary tract infection or not, and we think that this pathway can be modulated by sex hormones such as testosterone. Our findings highlight that incorporating sex as a variable or studying males and females can reveal really important information about the immune response to infectious diseases. And so we hope this will encourage other people to include both males and females in their studies with the idea that we can develop therapies for these specific differences that ultimately lead to better outcome in everyone.